Well, hello everybody, it's Julia and I'm back with a guest design for Sweet Stamp Shop. And today I have a fun card for you that would be perfect for any music lover. I'm going to be using this um, small stamp set that has a lot of these um, images that are perfect for a music musical card. And I'm stamping those onto Copic Friendly cardstock. You can use an acrylic block. I'm just using the Misty because it's easy to stamp all of these images at once because I'm lazy. And uh, this is uh, my favorite things hybrid ink that I'm using, the black one, because that works very nice with Copics. And I'm using the same color combination of yellows and oranges for coloring in these images. I'm going to be listing the colors in the video description below or on my blog. I decided to like not color in all the images with complete detail, but just add these highlights because I want to give the card kind of a monotone look. So I don't want to overwhelm it with color. Uh, I will have my um, brother scan and cut, cut these images out. And now I'm preparing a panel for my actual card. I grabbed some white um, yarn and used a black Copic marker to color it black because I want to simulate the strings of a guitar, for example. Um, to That's why I wanted to have it black. Um, if you do this, be aware that it will create a huge mess, so you will need to let it dry like for an hour or so to make sure that the color doesn't come off. I used foam tape to adhere that panel to my card base, which I had stamped with a striped background stamp. And now I'm adding some foam tape on the back of all these tiny little elements and adhering them over the strings that I uh, put around this panel. There we go. So they're like foam mounted, so there's a little bit of dimension to them. And uh, it really looks fun. Like if you have the real card and you look at it from the side, you can actually see that these strings are like were wrapped around the paper and that it's not just lines that you have drawn. But of course you can do that if you don't have any yarn. I also added some sequins by Pretty Pink Posh in the uh, pewter color and I think the other one is the marigold color. Just for some additional sparkle because you know you know me I just I just have to add sequins to everything. And then I used my Stardust gel pen to add a few dots to tie those sequins together so it looks like they are, they are like moving around the little elements there that I have on my card. So that's the finished card. It was super easy and quick to do. It was a lot of fun and I think uh, whoever I send it to will hopefully appreciate it. I have to find somebody who loves music very much. So here we go. Here's the fun sentiment from the stamp set. And here's the entire card. I just I actually had to count how many strings there are like in the musical notation. You know, there are like five lines. So I had to make sure to wrap the string around the card five times. Now that you've learned how to make a card for a music lover, check out these other techniques. One is to create a very intricate shaker card. And the other one is about adding uh, um, full gold sparkle to a card. I hope you enjoy this. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel or leave me a like. I will really appreciate that and I'll catch you again next time. Bye bye.